Thanks. Nice. You guys like some cups? Nice to meet sure. you. Thank you. I don't know. I'm Steve Driehaus, the congressman. This election, this election, is all about whether or not you believe in the change or you want to go back. Uh, I'm going to talk about what we've done to deliver for Cincinnati, to create jobs here in Cincinnati. We're going to get Steve in there. Two years ago, President Obama helped get Steve Driehaus, a Democrat, elected to Congress. Now, as Mr. Driehaus faces a re-election campaign of his own, one of the biggest questions of this midterm election year is, will President Obama's voters rise again and help Democrats, like Steve Driehaus, return to Congress? He's going to need all the help he can get because um, Obama's not running this term. Shabbat is real serious about taking that seat back. It's a good day to be a Shabbat supporter. <laughs> it's going to be a good year for us. I think so. It's going to be an entirely different environment this time than last time. Uh, the Tea Party movement didn't exist last election. Steve Shabbat is far from a new face. He was part of the Republican sweep in 1994 and served in Congress for 14 years before being ousted by Mr. Driehaus in 2008. I think people are ready for a change from the change. How are your folks and your sister and everybody? They're very well, very well. And unlike many establishment Republicans, he's something of a Tea Party favorite. I think if you look at my record, you'll see that I was one of the Republicans who really stuck to his guns uh, on the spending. He's been you know, very, a very enthusiastic supporter of what we do. Mike Wilson is founder of the Cincinnati Tea Party. He shows up to events and really tries to cultivate those relationships. You know, but he's someone that I think is very comfortable with this movement. I ran with President Obama, and I was happy to run with President Obama on that ticket. To defend his seat, Mr. Driehaus has a formidable challenge. Cincinnati is rooted in a conservative area. Before Barack Obama won here in 2008, the last Democratic presidential candidate to carry Hamilton County was Lyndon Johnson. Today, Mr. Driehaus's votes for administration priorities like health care reform and the economic stimulus plan are part of the main Republican critiques. Driehaus is voting like a congressman from San Francisco. Look, he wants to run against Nancy Pelosi, he can move to San Francisco. You know, but here he's running against me. Speaker Pelosi recently visited Hamilton County to raise money for Democratic candidates like Mr. Driehaus. He will rely heavily on the Obama campaign apparatus and the Democratic Party to reconnect with the voters who turned out in 2008. I'm volunteering for Governor Strickland and Congressman Steve Driehaus. Part of our job is to get back to the people who voted for the first time in 08. We know who they are, we know where they are, we know their phone numbers. Nice to meet you. But like most House races, he must earn the votes himself. That's complicated by the geography of Cincinnati. Mr. Treehouse grew up on the conservative west side. Schools, neighborhoods, and parishes matter here. And Mr. Treehouse was the student council president at Elder High, an all-male school with Catholic roots and a deep football tradition. I'm sure you can catch. Right. However, the most reliable Democratic votes come from precincts far from the west side. It's not clear whether some of these black voters will turn out in a midterm election year without Barack Obama on the ballot. Lincoln Ware is a local radio host, and he has followed the race closely. You know, the black community really uh, wanted the health care reform, and so uh, I think he has become more connected uh, than Shabbat in certain ways. But Shabbat, I've seen him at all the events that uh, uh, we have uh, in the African-American community. Shabbat has been out there. I'm an optimist, and, and I go for the votes wherever people are at, and I go to events and churches and fairs and you name it, where, whatever communities they're in. A distinctive feature of Cincinnati politics is the cups. Nearly all candidates pass them out to voters. Mr. Shabbat originated the idea, and he's been giving them away during campaign season for over 20 years. Uh, I'm guessing we've given out a million of them or so over my uh, career. Can I get some of the cups? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Throughout the summer and fall, the most important factor may be the national trends. Is the economic outlook improving? Are voters warming to elements of the Democratic agenda that were initially unpopular? Mr. Driehaus hopes both will happen to improve his chances of winning. I've seen the mood calm down rather dramatically since prior to the health care vote. And people are being far more rational, they're being more introspective, and, and I think that's good. So I, I'm encouraged.